Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of the new so far we are jumping in again and we are gonna go for a greedier mode run as I don't know maybe we maybe we could just do regular old Isaac um Samson Eden oh we've not done that. we did Eden recently but I don't know let's do an Eden greedier mode run that sounds good to me I haven't done um oh we get do you know what dad's key is pretty goddamn good also blank rune as well um, and what does this one do again? Triggers a random dice room effect. I don't think we want to use that, right? Um, but anyways, Dad's key is pretty goddamn good. Although, saying that, hmm, Dad's mallet is also pretty goddamn good. Uh, I might take that. Halo is also really good. We'll blank road in here, see if we get anything. Nah, Dad's key, I mean, it saved us a key. <laughs> But uh, the, the mallet is, like, real goddamn good. Um, it allows us to destroy rocks and these guys, which is very nice. Oh, that's another real goddamn good active item. Wow, this is, uh, it's been a little tricky. A little bit tricky. Uh, I will take all of these pills. Ranger. Speed up. Lemon juice. Uh, but yeah, so this, this thing here... Passively, items will reroll when they touch. Reroll items will attempt to be of higher quality. So basically, we never know what we're picking up, but they'll always try to upgrade the quality. Um, on you spawns a shattered shard and a few coins around Isaac. It's kind of interesting. I'm probably more like inclined to keep this. I can't kill him. Probably more inclined to keep the uh, the mallet just because it's got a lot of implications combat wise and um, outside of combat. So I think that's gonna be pretty fun. But yeah, as for the question of the day today. Um, hmm. What's the next sort of big human evolution leap that you think is going to make a big difference? Like, what what's, what do you think is going to be the next big thing we invent that's really going to change the way we do things? Um, and if, if you're not really sure, what, what sort of invention are you excited to see? What do you, what, what do you think is going to be something that's pretty awesome? Yeah, look, look at that. It's just incredible. Like, for a quality one item, this thing absolutely slaps. It has such an insane radius as well. That's another thing about it. And obviously, it only uses two pips per use. So it's pretty easy to uh, to get a lot of use out of it. Oh my god, it's amazing. It's goddamn amazing. We'll save the rest of it for the boss. Okay, you're going to be a little bit annoying. You are the reformer, right? Reformer? Yeah, no, no, okay. I was wrong. Um, okay, we've not quite got enough for an item yet, so let's do this. Not quite what I was hoping for with that, especially getting hit again there. My bad. Okay. I did get one of them hit, but obviously I was hoping to hit both. But it did, it did enough damage to one of them for me to be happy. And then that did a pretty good amount of damage to you, not... Quite as much as I was hoping. We have unfortunately lost our soul heart that we started with. It's no biggie. Oh god, I really hate the animation of when she poots out her kids. It's uh, it's a little bit disturbing. I don't like her loose her loose hull, whatever you want to call that. Oh, there was a little beady boy there. I didn't see him. Goddamn beater getting in the way. And another one. Okay, not too bad at all. Excuse me. I think we will take meat. Is there another one? No, it's just bugged. Th this seems to be happening a lot recently. Debug, 10, where the room just doesn't end. And I'm really not sure why. Retribution, is it something to do with that maybe? I don't know. Maybe it's something to do with that nonsense that appeared on screen then. Let's grab that. Right, good, good. <laughs> that was very, very nice. Of course, we are going to go thingy here. Allows you to restart the room, guaranteed better reward. I don't even know how that'll work. Yeah, it doesn't work. Um, right, I think we just go straight down. And see what's what. But yeah, that's been happening a lot recently. My girlfriend's just recently um, started playing Isaac again because she's uh, now got my old PC. So she's able to play Isaac a little more efficiently and on a machine that runs it a lot better. And um, she was saying that she's been having that exact same issue recently. So it must be like a, most, a recent update to like Fiend Folio or something. 
Grab that. See Wag one in here. Oh, baby. Magic mush and synth oil as well. Uh, this this name is just wait a little bit. There you go. Okay, good stuff on the damage front there. Real good stuff on the damage front. Our damage has been kicked into overdrive. We don't have to rely on the mallet for damage as much anymore. Mallet's going to be sort of one of those things that we use when um, when things get a little overwhelming. When there's a lot of enemies and they're, they're a little bit hard to kill sort of thing. We need a good way to kill them all fast, like this. Then we can use mallet to end a lot of them very, very swiftly. It's going to work out for us pretty nice. Situations like this ain't so bad. See you there. Don't worry about that guy. We're killing all the waves before the next one spawns, so we're still doing pretty well. So that, that's always the sign that you're doing okay, especially damage-wise. Obviously, you can tell that Magic Mush, you're never, you're never going to be too, uh, too worryful about your damage when you've got good old uh, Magic Mush helping you out. Oh, lovely. Right, we'll do a few re-rolls here. Uh, pff, the D6, man. Uh, we'll definitely take that once we can afford it. Because I think that will be a pretty significant damage up. Oh, ho, ho. I had a feeling. I had a feeling that might work that way. And it very much did. That was that was lovely. Because I was thinking, it like, the, the, the radius of the damage, it kind of does damage over time. Like, it does a few ticks of damage, so I was like, maybe, just maybe, it'll last long enough to just annihilate the whole thing. And it did, and it was oh so satisfying. Right. See if Mspository gives us a damage boost here. It should. Eh, not as much as I was hoping for, but still, wasn't bad. Dippies. Oh, that was a good hit, good sir. That was a good hit. It's okay though, he is pretty much perished. Angel deal, here we come. Sacred Heart? Nah, friendly monster. Unfortunately, something I'm not that interested in, but I'll of course take. Right, down we go. Come on, Mallet. Give us something good from one of these Keeper Heads at some point. We got some very good stuff going on in here. So, Eden, this is uh, spawn three items from a random pool, can only take one. We'll definitely do that. And uh, Lusty Blood's also real good, so I think we're going to take both of those. Um, I'm going to hold off on buying a key for now. GMO Corn is a little risky, but it's a damage up. I think it's worth it. Yeah, that, that was real good. We even gulped. Uh, not that we needed it, but I think that was overall very, very good. Definitely a scenario where that's pretty valuable. Just gotta make sure I don't hit the skulls and spawn hursts, because that's gonna be annoying if I do. But yeah, I think we've set ourselves up for a very, very good run here. I mean, greed mode runs tend to go really well for me anyways, but it's always nice when the, the run's even more in your favor. You're annoying me. And the run just says, hey, hey you, I want you to win. <laughs> I mean, that GMO Corn was real good. I think we got two health ups out of it. Maybe even three. No, we were on four hearts before. We got two health ups. Right, so we'll take um, this first. Unfortunately, none of those are particularly amazing, but I will take the Broken Shell at least. Um, it didn't really get anything crazy good out of that. But... The, the bomb familiar guy is pretty useful, I will not deny. Okay, nice match to take out all his little buddies there. This this guy looks so much better now, like, the, the, the rework of this dude is amazing. Attacks and visually is just an absolute G. Right, so we're not going to be able to afford a key, but I think it's much better that we go for these two. Like, there could have been something real good in there, I agree. But also, what we've got right now is real good, so... I would take a Devil Deal, but I'd much rather have Angel. Thank you. And I'd take Pride Pin. Lovely. 
Um, let's blow this up. I know this is going to be a gigabomb. A little bit overkill. Didn't give us anything. Wow, okay. Ah, yes, the positive, known as Troll Bomb. Ah, we got one penny. We're, we're one penny off. One penny off. And there it is. We can't even reach it. God damn it. Damn. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. We miss out on a floor um, item room, but... I think the items we got are decent, and the, the while we didn't get anything crazy from Birthright, the opportunity for it to get something crazy was there. The possibility of getting something crazy was, it did exist, so I feel like we couldn't ignore that. The hell are you? Some enemies I still see and I'm like, have I ever seen you before? Never really sure. But yeah, Lusty Blood literally doubling our damage for the entirety of all the rooms. It's going to work on Greedier too because he spawns adds. So pretty much doubling our damage all the time is uh, a pretty huge positive, I'd say. Pride Pin was a pretty good pickup as well for us. Can give us some pretty powerful tier effects. Oh god, the, um, the umbilical cords stick around. I don't really think about that. Right, was anything in here we wanted to buy straight away? I'm going to buy a key right now, I think, and we'll uh, mallet you. Hey, finally got some good stuff out of that. We'll take a fire rate increase. Uh, buttermilk, not an item particularly uh, love, but thank you. And chance of picking up a coin to drop a mini couch full granite, a small random startup for the current floor. I guess so, why not? Yeah, buttermilk's not likely to do a whole hell of a lot to help us out, but... It's there, I guess. In fact, with something like this, it's pretty good. So I didn't realize the buttermilk thing would adopt our tier effect so efficiently. There's our mini capsules. That's kind of useful, I suppose. Oh, and you don't have to use them, you just pick them up. Okay, that, that's actually really good. I thought it was going to be something that had to, like a, a consumable, like a pill. Makes it a lot better that it just auto-uses. Lovely. Another angel deal. Lovely. And we get uh, an extra life here. Not that we need to use it, but we do have it. There was a rune in here? Oh, it's what? This one here. Um, Every enemy in the room explodes, taking 15 damage. The explosion can hurt you too. Every enemy that dies from the explosion will give you a temporary damage. Because, eh, it's fine, but I'm not really that arsed. Magician for the boss, I'll take that. Thank you. And we'll keep on moving on. Shopwise, we've got Inner Child in here. Um, we've got Bell Clapper. Um, I don't think Bell Clapper's going to be super useful for us, to be honest. Really nothing out of those guys. That was rather nice. Is that a regular donation machine? Let's do some re-rolling on that. I'll buy a key as well, actually. Come on now. Oh, god damn. Oh, slim pickings today. But slim pickings today. Gusty blood, there you go. That's another one. And another syringe. Slim pickings. Uh, I'm just going to bomb it and hope for the best. I would take Odd Mushroom. I don't see the Brimstone boys down here. Shit. I mean, luckily they did a good job for us, but I wasn't ready. I was not ready. I'm not in the Isaac mindset at the minute. Call of Duty is all I know, so I'm probably going to play pretty bad here and there. <laughs> I do apologize. Oh, what the hell? Double soul hearts. Now that I was not expecting. Thank you. Don't even know how they blew up, to be honest. Maybe it was my little bomb fly dude that got them. 
Must have been. Okay, nice and easy. Yeah, we're just wrecking things right now. I guess I'll take that instead of this so I don't accidentally use that card. As our random stat increases. Oh god, having these guys as the extras is a little, little scary. Some herming going on in here. Oh god, this guy's a really interesting version of that boss. Another angel deal, baby. Uh, purity, yes please, and we unfortunately did not get the boost we were looking for. Um, fat odd mushroom I will take. And we'll be heading on down once again. Give me some hugs. Thank you. I'm going to take some damage to try and get a good purity aura before the boss as well. There we go. Fire aura is the one we want. Okay. Right. Boss time. Well, boss time. You know what I meant. Fight time is more so what I was talking about. And now just don't get hit again. This guy's fucking tanky, man. Hot diggity damn. That took loads of shots to kill. Oh lord. That's a lot of those babies. I'm not prepared to deal with. Don't think we're going to end up getting too much more out of this run now. I think we're pretty much set with what we've got. Of course, we've got a fucking load of these hands. Not the most ideal ones to deal with. A taste of what's to come here. Oh god, the tears out of our back are doing the uh, the teeth shot thing as well. That is uh, quite crazy. Oh shit, there's two of these guys. This this I could get hit on. In fact, I did get hit, but I think that was the, uh, the fire glitch, to be honest. I don't think I actually got hit by an enemy. Let's try to re-up our aura here. That's annoying. Yeah, for some reason the fire uh, shot can hurt you sometimes. It's It seems incredibly inconsistent when it does, so I don't really know what triggers it. Oh, there's, we're fighting the good and the bad at the same time, I see. It's actually kind of tricky. Yeah, I just hurt myself again with it there. See if I'm backed up against the wall. Finally got a devil deal this time around. Uh, don't think we want any of those. Right, I think we come in here and we hurt ourselves for aura changes. Damage aura, I'll take, obviously. Uh, we we re up our HP here. With our buddy in a box. And abandoned box as well. Come in here and use it. Ugh. Not what I was hoping for. Right. Away we go. Magician, we've got that ready to go. Should do a pretty goddamn good job. Yet again, another very, very speedy greed mode run. Ooh, there's a sack here. Hello. Just three keys. Hey, we've got some stat increases for the rest of the floor. That's something at least. Right. Got a magician card going. In fact, we were probably better off going, I guess, say, facing backwards with our butt shots for this bit. Some of these shot types just work so much better from the rear. Oh, come on now. No aura for us anymore. Damn shame. Did a very good bit of damage there to start, though. Oh shit, I gigabombed him by accident. I, I completely forgot I had gigabombs. Slightly inconvenient for the, the floor. That's now a massive hole. But it did a good bit of damage. A lot of, uh, lot of heart coins here, my guy. 
You spawned heart coins when I specifically asked you not to. What are you, what are you doing? No heart coins. I just said that. God, are you not listening? Oh, this is another one where we want to go from the back. If it's going to last until uh, his next phase, that is. Okay, only just. Ah, the fire got me again. Super inconsistent when it actually hurts you, but it's very annoying when it does. Ah. The heck was I meant to do there? So we have taken quite a lot of damage here, but I think overall we're doing fine. We can pop this as well. Lowers our speed by a bit. Oh, actually, actually, it didn't lower our speed at all, but it technically heals us three hearts. I thought it was going to lower our speed. It should have done, but I think we must be, like, over the two cap. And so we had a little bit of backup to uh, get absorbed by the, um, the the minor stats. I don't really know how to best describe it, but you know what I mean. Some of you know what I mean, at least, I hope. Probably haven't described that well at all, but... Anyways, it seems we're going to get a pretty swift victory here. Yet another character... With a completion mark done. I think this is full Eden, right? Pretty sure this was the last Eden one we had to go. Nice to have a few characters fully fully completed. And there you go, baby. There you go. Cracked, baby. Metronome. Gotta love it. I remember when Metronome was good. Anyways, hope you guys did enjoy. And I'll see you guys in the next one.